Hi there, I'm Coach Todd, and welcome to the March newsletter. I just realized today that I did not do the February newsletter, so I'm sorry. I'm sure you guys all missed it. You go, where is the newsletter? Where the heck is the newsletter? Anyways, so we got a March one coming up right now, and we're doing it a video format again. And I have some text in the in the other email that I sent out too, but it's going to be about the same kind of thing. Uh, how are you guys doing? So, how did January and February go? Did it go pretty good? I find that March is a great time of year to look at, uh, you know, how are you doing? Like in January, we always set up a, an ideal plan of what we want to do. And so that, how does, how have you been doing? Are you been able to get in most of your workouts? And I haven't been, so I miss a couple. And I always schedule a bike on Sunday and I found that I can't get that in. So I'm missing it more often than not. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that one. So then I don't have to feel bad about missing it. And the same thing about Wednesday, I used to have my long run scheduled for the evening and I found that that's not working either. So I moved it from the evening and I moved it to the morning. And so that makes my life a whole lot easier and it goes much more smooth. So I want you to look back at the training you've done in the last two and a half months and look at your weekly schedule. Do you need to change how you got laid out? Because we want to make this to be as successful and easy as possible for you to do. And if you find that you're just not getting the workouts in for whatever reason, consider just uh, juggling things around it or just erasing some workouts that aren't going to work out. We were at the Calgary Bike Show uh, on the weekend, which was fun. I, I, I got to meet with a lot, new, a lot of new people, which is cool. So pe they're all excited about triathlon and getting ready to go biking and all that kind of cool stuff. And I actually had a chance to meet with a girl in grade 10 and one of their school projects is to get ready to, to do a triathlon. And she had no idea what to do. So the father is saying, hey, can you, you know, kind of help us on what to do? So what I did is I said, hey, come on over here, have a seat. I'm going to pretend you're, you're one of my athletes and we're starting you up right now. So, and I said, you know what, I usually do this in pencil, but I only have a pen. And she goes, hang on. So she digs in her bag, she pulls out this pencil. And I go, perfect. So then we just start creating her weekly schedule. I go, okay, what days can you swim? What days can you bike? And what days can you run? And how, you know, how long you've, how, how long you've been biking for? And how long have you been running for? And I said, can you run for two hours? And she just looks at me and she goes, well, I'm not quite sure if I could do two hours, but maybe. And I go, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You can't do two hours. You're only in grade 10, for goodness sake. Anyways, I thought that was kind of funny. But the idea is, is do it with a pencil so that when you uh, have to come down to the future to change it, you just erase it and then move it around. So look at the schedule and if you need to make some changes, March is a great time for that. What are we else going? What else do we have going on? Uh, believe it or not, tomorrow No Limits is leaving for Puerto Rico, which is fantastic, right? I can't wait to go. We're there for a very short trip. We're there Thursday, Friday, Saturday of training, like minimal training. And then on Sunday, we do the Puerto Rico 7.3, which is actually the Ironman 7.3 Tri Club Championship. So I'm very excited for that. And I, was, I checked the forecast, and it's 27 degrees and, you know, a big sun. So we're going to get fried, absolutely fried. So we're going to put on lots of sunscreen. And today, yeah, believe it or not, I shaved the legs because it's easier to put on the sunscreen on shaving legs. Uh, after that, we're going to go down to California to do a uh, wildflower training camp. A lot of the people in the camp are doing the wildflower squared, which which means this. All of us are going to train for five days, Monday to Friday. And then on Saturday, a bunch of us are doing the half Ironman. And then on Sunday, to make it a squared, we're doing an Olympic distance. So picture that. Five days of training, six day, half Ironman, next day, Olympic. And yes, I put my hand up and I've registered. I'm doing the squared. So that's going to be pretty exciting. I'm really pumped for that. A lot of you guys are just starting too, and you've, you're realizing that, you know what, Calgary 7.3 or, or Ironman Canada 7.3. Oh, did you hear that? Canada, Ironman Canada now has a 70.3 at the same time, same date, same location as Whistler. So if you want to come out there do, to do the half Ironman and then cheer on No Limits, cheer on me. I need more people to cheer me on. So come on out, do that. Anyways, if you just realize that, you know what, we are in March, April, May, June, July, time is ticking away. If you haven't been training yet, it's time to start now, right? And 
The Iron Distance Training Program is already going, but if you need some help, join the Iron Distance Training Program. We will get you ready for sure. What else we got going? Oh, uh, in January, No Limits uh, teamed up with Movement Sports Clinic, Louise from Movement Sports Clinic, and she took us through a whole bunch of uh, stability exercises for a triathlete. And there's a, if you click on the link below this, there'll be uh, an image you can click on, and it will take you to a web page that will have text on how to do stability exercises. And then there's probably about 10 or maybe a dozen videos of Louise and myself uh, demonstrating uh, the exercises. It's mostly me, I'm the guinea pig, so don't be too picky on my form, but I think it, it turned out okay. Some of them, not so good. I had a sprained wrist at that time, so take it easy on me. Uh, the last thing we're gonna talk about is, look at this, I'm at six minutes, that's awesome. The spring classes for, for No Limits will start up in April, and they'll be posted on the website when registration opens, and if you are already in a class, you're gonna have priority to get in the next class. So don't worry, don't worry. I will send you all a reminder. Hey, do you wanna to come to the next session? Because I want you guys all returning back. You can also watch uh, the Facebook page. And if you're really uh, keen to get into the class, send me an email. Like if you're not in touch with me right now and you wanna get into the class, if you haven't already done so, send me an email so I can add you on the list because a lot of these classes will fill up fast. So that's it, I think, for now. I've covered over, covered a bunch of stuff, and I've kept it under 10 minutes, which is for me is, I think it's pretty good. And uh, that's it. I'm going to leave it here, and we, I gotta go pack my bike and get packed my trip tomorrow. So this is Coach Todd saying, muchas gracias and happy training. Oh, one more thing. Are you still there? Or have you gone? You still there? Okay. I am, I am now, this is October, November, December, January, February, March. So we're like, I'm five and a half months now of using this isogenic product as my nutritional source. Now, if you're interested in trying what I've been taking, I have a link on this page too. It's under the isogenics. If you need any questions about that or what kind of uh, things I'm taking, send me a quick email. That's it. I'm out of here. See ya. Hasta la vista. Bye.